Bonjour, guys. I hope you are doing well, my very most favorite people. Today we are working on a review for Unit 3. This is our second day of review, so if you're not feeling very comfortable with this, remember you can always go back onto Google Classroom and look at the slides from our last review or even any of the other slides to practice. So just a few reminders before we get started. Make sure that you adjust the volume as needed. You can also pause or rewind this video whenever that's necessary. Also make sure you're participating fully. Today we're going to be practicing speaking a lot, so it's going to be very imperative or important that you find a partner and you find a partner quickly. Make sure you're following our classroom rules. And just a general reminder, there are no hall passes, no phones, and no Chromebook unless it's for a specific activity. Let's jump on in. Ouvrez vos agendas, s'il vous plaît. Ouvrez vos agendas. So today our I can is I can describe myself and activities I like. So notice unit three is activities. Unit two was describing ourselves. So this writing is going to have both describing yourself and activities you like. So we're going to focus the first part of our lesson on describing yourself. And we're going to focus the second part on activities. So I can describe myself and activities I like. Just a reminder, you should not be using distractors in class. That's things like tech decks and fidget spinners. First off, you'll get a warning. The second time, it will be taken for the class hour. And if it happens again, there will be a phone call home to your parents. Let's get started by doing our unit three post self-assessment. So we're gonna look at the ICANs on our packet from unit three, and we're gonna color in the packet the ICANs green, if we can do that I can without help, yellow if we can do it with some help, like maybe looking at our notes, and we'll color in red if we can't do it yet. And this is gonna help us know what we need to focus on. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you 90 seconds to do that. That way you should have some time if you need to go grab colored pencils to do that. So green, I can do it without help. Yellow, I can do it with some help. And red, I can't do it yet. So we're on our unit three, reading through our ICANs. We're on the post self-assessment column. Vous avez une minute. Vingt deux secondes. <coughs> ok, très bien. Alors, tournez à la page trois ou quatre dans vos paquets. Let's do our focus for the day. So, traduisez en phrase complète en français. So, today we are translating. Now, I know these don't, they look long, but don't panic. Just take them in little chunks like we've been practicing. So, how do we say I like? How do we say to play video games? How do you say with my friends in French? After school. At my friend's house because it's entertaining. So this is a really good thing to have your cheat sheet out for that unit three cheat sheet. Okay, number two, how do we say I love? And to sleep, on weekends, at my house, remember no sleeping at the park or at school, and then because it's relaxing. So just take it in those little chunks, you know, how to do all of this. It's just putting it all together to get force. So number three, I like to swim 
with my family in the summer on eighth day outside door a little um because it's fun okay so let's go ahead write these down remember we are translating into complete sentences in french and our focus in our packet guest teacher please pause the video set a timer and give students four minutes to work on their focus in their packet Très bien. Kiss those brains. Let's see how we did. Number one, you should have j'adore. Jouer au jeu vidéo. Avec mes amis. Après l'école. Chez mon ami. Parce que c'est divertissant. If you missed anything, just put an arrow and add it in. Number two, you should have j'adore. Dormir, sorry, I think number one is j'aime dormir, or j'aime jouer. Number two, j'adore dormir. Le weekend. Chez moi. Parce que c'est relaxant. Number three, j'aime nager. Avec ma famille. En été. Dor. Un peu. Parce que c'est amusant. So, rouge, jaune ou vert. I can describe activities I like. Rouge, I don't get it yet. I need some help. Jaune, I can do it with my notes, which means we need to do some studying still. Ou vert, I've got this. I can do this by myself. Okay, just a quick little review. I know it's been a while for some of you. For culture. So remember, in France, children practice an activity during eight months. So they'll do like a sport or whatever from like September all the way until June minus the holidays. In France, practices are more important than games. And also in France, parents are less involved in their kids' activities than in the United States. We don't have any of those crazy soccer moms in France. Also, school sports aren't very prevalent or common. Club sports are much more popular. Extracurricular activities are more expensive in the United States, so they're cheaper in France to do extracurricular activities. So French teens will generally have more hobbies because their sports don't require a lot of practices compared to here. Let's look at our top three. Club sports, number one is soccer, number two is tennis, and number three is horseback riding. Okay, let's review unit two for our writing assessment. Répétez, comment t'appelles-tu? Je m'appelle Olivia. Quel âge as-tu? J'ai 14 ans. Tu es de quelle nationalité? Je suis française. You guys sound so good. You sound française. Tu es d'où? Je suis de Paris. Grand? Grande. Petit? Petite. Gros? Grosse. Mince? Mince. Excellent. Répétez. Beau. Belle. Laid. Laid. Joli. Joli. Moche. Moche. Mignon. Mignon. Jeune. Âgé. Âgé. Four, fort, faible. À quoi ressembles-tu? Good, let's do that one again. À quoi ressembles-tu? So what do you look like? 
And then for a four, remember our sentence is going to be like, je suis blank et blank, je ne suis pas blank ni blank. So don't forget ET for and, NI when it's in a ne pas sandwich sentence. Add a word, répéter, content, contente, triste, gentil, gentille, méchant, méchante, timide, sociable, bête, stupide, intelligent, intelligente. Innervant, innervante, amusant, amusante, sympa. Barbant, barbante, intéressant, intéressante. Patient, patiente, impatient, impatiente. Égoïste, égoïste, généreux, généreuse. Drôle, sérieux, sérieuse. Travailleur, travailleuse. Paresseux, paresseuse. Quelle est ta personnalité? Excellent. Répétez encore. Quelle est ta personnalité? Same sentence structure as à quoi ressemble-tu? Je suis, je ne suis pas. And we're adding a and ni combining sentences being creative if we want to get a four. And we're turning à la page 13. S'il vous plaît, turning à la page 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Turn on the page 13, s'il vous plaît. Okay, you have in front of you a Facebook profile. So I need you to complete your French social media profile using complete sentences. Now let me show you what it looks like. For some of you, you have this digital version. For the rest, you have the paper copy in your packet. Oh, there's my face. Let's hide that for you so we can look at this bigger. All right. So this, you are going to do a couple of things on here to help you reveal. So let's look at the left side first. So it says activité. So using full sentences, write about three activities that you like to do. Include with whom, where, when and why. And then down here, you have one, two, three. So you're going to do your sentences. So maybe I put, j'aime courir avec mon ami après l'école parce que c'est divertissant. Okay, that could be an example of a question. And you're going to do that for two more sentences. Then you have question posts. So post three questions to your friends in French. So you're not answering these, you're asking these questions. So the first one is, ask what do you look like? So in French, to ask what do you look like, it's a, uh, oh, wrong accent. There we go. A quoi ressemble tu? And then I'd ask the next one, what's your personality? And then ask, what do you like to do? So let's look at the right hand side. So you get to insert or draw a profile picture of yourself, real or imaginary. And then you're going to um, fill these out in complete sentences. For, so for your name, you're not just going to write Jane Doe. You're going to write Je m'appelle Jane Doe. For your age, you're not just going to write 13. You're going to write, j'ai 13 ans, and so on. And then for physical traits, I want at least four sentences. Notice the word sentences, not descriptions. And same thing for personality. I want you to push yourself, write at least four sentences describing yourself. 
So guest teacher, please pause this video and set a timer for students to work for 15 minutes on their Facebook profile. If you finish early, there are lots of resources under Unit 3 on Google Classroom. There's some quizzes to play and other things. Okay, how are we feeling with our Unit 2 review for our writing portion of our Unit 3 assessment? Ça va bien? Ça va comme si, comme ça? Ou ça va mal? Okay, bien, excellent. You guys have got this. Add our next thing we're going to do just to start our brains thinking is do a quiz is that's going to review everything. So you'll need your Chromebook. And this quiz is, is found on Google Classroom. You can go to the Classwork tab. And then it's under Unit 3. And it's called Practice 1U3.09 Review Quiz Is. So everyone go ahead and open up your Chromebooks, get to this activity. Once you've done, you've finished the quizzes, please close your Chromebook so that the guest teacher knows that you're done. And then when most students are done, guest teacher, you can press play again on this video and continue our lesson. So go ahead and press pause now. <sighs> I'm wasting all of our time together. I'm guessing I probably didn't have that in there before for time, but like I said, especially because it's been forever since we've met. I have the picture here. Say that again. I have the pictures. I'm just feeling bad that this is wasting all of our time. All right. Alors, ça va bien? Ça va comme ci, comme ça? Ou ça va mal? How are we feeling after that quiz is? Okay, excellent. Alors, répétez s'il vous plaît. Avec qui? Avec ma famille? Avec mon ami? Avec mon ami? Avec mes amis? Avec personne? Avec toi, avec mon petit ami, avec ma petite amie. Ok, répétez. Avec qui? Avec qui aimes-tu danser? J'aime danser avec mon ami. Good. And then if we want to get a four, we need to add more details. So, répétez. J'aime danser avec mon ami le weekend. Excellent. So, just having the green is what would get you a three. And if you add something like the purple, that would get you a four. So, we're going to go ahead and practice that speaking. So what's going to happen is you are going to have a full minute to go back and forth with a partner asking different avec qui am tu questions. So to ask these questions, you're going to need your activity cards. If you don't have your activity cards, I probably have some by the window that you can borrow. If they're not there, you can also look at the back of your unit three cheat sheet, which might be a really nice thing to have out for this activity anyway. You could also look at the activities that you have labeled in your Unit 3 packet. You could, if you don't have that, you could look at your vocab sheet or you could even go onto Google Classroom to find one of those resources to look at. But anywho, we should hopefully have our activity cards. So you just flip to a new activity and you're gonna ask avec qui am tu? And then whatever the activity is on your card. Partner B, We'll answer that question and hopefully they'll do it like the four that we just looked at. And then partner B will ask you a vet qui am tu and they'll look at their activity card and ask about that activity. And then you, partner A, will answer, you know, j'aime jouer au foot avec mes amis 
Well, park parce que c'est relaxante. And then you'll look at your cards as partner A, and you'll ask, avec qui aimes-tu étudier? And partner B will answer, and so on, back and forth, back and forth. So you need your activity cards. You might want your unit three cheat sheet out with you as well. You have 10 seconds to get back to back with a partner of your choice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good. Turn and face each other. Decide who's asking the first avec qui am tu activity question. Ok, très bien. Retournez à vos places. Alors, répétez. Pourquoi? Parce que c'est amusant. Parce que c'est barbant. Parce que c'est facile. Parce que c'est difficile. Parce que c'est intéressant. Parce que c'est ennuyeux. Parce que c'est divertissant. Parce que c'est relaxant. Parce que c'est nul. Parce que c'est drôle. Excellente. Alors, répétez pourquoi. Pourquoi aimes-tu jouer aux jeux vidéo? Bien, let's try it all together. Répétez. Pourquoi aimes-tu jouer aux jeux vidéo? J'aime jouer aux jeux vidéo. Parce que c'est divertissant. Ok, that's a three. Let's try the four. Répétez. J'aime jouer aux jeux vidéo. Après l'école. Parce que c'est divertissant. So just answering the question gets us a three. Adding more details gets us that four. So let's go ahead and practice. Get up, take your cards, take your unit three cheat sheet if you want. We're asking pourquoi am two questions. So you have 10 seconds to get back to back with a new partner. Dix, neuf, huit, sept, six, cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un, zéro. Ok, turn and face each other. Decide who's asking the first. Pourquoi am tu question?
Excellent. Returning à vos places. Alors, répétez où? Chez moi. Chez mon ami. Au parc. À l'école. À l'intérieur. Door. Excellent. Répétez. Où aimes-tu étudier? J'aime étudier à l'école. Show me with your fingers. Was that a one, two, three, or a four answer? Good. It was a three. Répétez. J'aime étudier à l'école parce que c'est nécessaire. Show me with your fingers. Was that a one, two, three, or a four? Good. You should have four fingers up. We added at least two details. So we would have gotten a four for speaking that. So let's try our where questions. Again, grab your stuff. Get back to back with a new partner. You have 10 seconds. 9 seconds. 8 seconds. Set. 6. 5. 4. The uh. And if you are the odd man out, there are an odd number of students. Remember, you are just asking and answering the questions to yourself. Otherwise, turn, face your partner, decide who's asking the first UAM2 question. Retournez à vos places. Make sure you're still practicing. This is going to help you with our assessment. Alors, répétez s'il vous plaît quand? Au printemps? En été? En automne? En hiver, après l'école, le week-end, le matin, l'après-midi, le soir, la nuit, lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Bien. Répétez quand. Quand aimes-tu dormir? J'aime dormir le week-end. Good, that's the three. Let's try the four. Répétez. J'aime dormir le week-end chez moi. Excellent. Alors, we're going to practice quand aimes-tu questions for a minute. Find a new partner. In the class, get back to back. Vous avez 10 secondes to find a new partner. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
uh, zero. So again, we're asking quand and tu questions back and forth using our activity cards to ask about different activities. Face your partner, decide who's asking first. Quand? Bien, retournez à vos places. Alors, répétez souvent, toujours, beaucoup, quelquefois, un peu, jamais. Aimes-tu manger souvent? J'aime manger un peu. That's a three. Let's try a four. J'aime manger un peu en été. Parce que c'est relaxant. Okay, hopefully you know the drill by now. Find a new partner. Take your cards with you. Take your cheat sheet with you. Dix. Neuf. Huit. Set, six, cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un, zéro. Ok, face à face, décidez qui va commencer. Am to activity souvent. Am to activity souvent. Retournez à vos places. Très vite. French and be fit, guys. You know me. Get our exercise. Alors, do the actions with me. It helps your brain, remember? Répétez quoi? Danser. Sorry, I'm going to even do these actions with you. That's how serious I am about doing these actions. All right. Ooh. There we go. Okay, bien. Répétez, danser. Dessiner. Manger. 
écouter de la musique, jouer au basket, jouer au foot, jouer au football américain, jouer aux jeux vidéo, chanter, parler anglais, parler français, parler espagnol, étudier, nager, envoyer des textos, voyager, Aller au cinéma, regarder la télé, regarder Netflix, nettoyer, travailler, dormir, faire du skateboard, Faire les devoirs, faire du sport, faire de la musique, lire, sortir avec des amis. Excellent. Répétez casque. Qu'est-ce que tu aimes faire? And there's all those different things we can like to do. But let's look at this. So this is our setup of how to get a force. So you're going to do jam and then the activity that you see on their card. Then if you can try and add with whom, when, where, and why. So for example, we could do um, j'aime jouer au foot avec ma famille le weekend au parc parce que c'est amusant. Okay, so qu'est-ce que tu aimes faire? We're going to ask back and forth with our partner. We're going to show them the activity card and they're going to have to make up a sentence about that activity. So find your partner. You have 10 seconds, someone you haven't been with. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, decide who's asking. Qu'est-ce que tu aimes faire first? Keep going, see if you can get through all your cards.
Ok, très bien. Asseyez-vous, s'il vous plaît. Asseyez-vous. Excellent. Let's go ahead and take a break. You should have some extra lines on page 14 of your Unit 3 packet. I want you to go ahead and write three sentences giving the following details about activities you like and dislike or dislike in each sentence. So try and have all the things we just practiced in our speaking. Try and have what, where, with whom, when, and why. For example, j'aime lire, that covers what, chez moi, where, avec personne, covers with whom, en hiver, when, parce que c'est relaxant, why. So guest teacher, please pause the video and give students six minutes to create three sentences talking about activities they like or dislike to do using lots and lots of details. Alrighty, we are going to practice our speaking. So for the speaking, you're going to have dice and you're going to have your activity cards and you'll be randomly rolling the dice to do an activity. But for now, we're going to practice without having the random activity. I have the activity for you. So you'll just need dice. If you don't have dice, just pick random numbers, one through six. This one we're going to do with our eyeball partner. So just like before, we're going to ask questions back and forth depending on which one we get. And if you even want to make it more simple for yourselves, just start with number one and go to two and then three, four, five, and then six. So if we were doing it that way, first question you're going to ask is, qu'est-ce que tu en faire? Partner is going to answer using those awesome ginormous answers we've been practicing. And then... They'll ask you a question, and then you'll ask them number two, avec qui am tu danser, and so on. So up to you. If the dice are available, if you have dice, use those. Um, if not, you can pick random numbers, or you can just go down in order, starting with one, and seeing how far you can get. So again, we are speaking with our eyeball partner. We're still asking each other questions back and forth. Keep asking, try and go fast, but don't forget the details. Okay, très bien. You can always go back to that, practice more. Um, let's step it up a notch. So that's kind of step one. Step two, let's do it with your cards. So that means that activities are going to be more random. So again, you're asking each other questions back and forth, depending on what dice you roll, or you can pick random numbers or just go down depending on your circumstance today. So we're going to do it with our same partner, eyeball partner. So you need at least one set of activity cards. So you can pick random activities or just go through them on your cheat sheet. So this time it's going to be a little bit longer. You're going to have two questions. So hopefully the goal is in that two questions, you can both ask and you can both answer all six of those questions.
Keep asking, you're almost there. Okay, très bien. Let's try this with our elbow partner. Again, this is just like your test is going to be, but you probably guessed already. Am I going to give you the questions in French? No, they're going to be in English. So let's practice one more time with the questions listed in French, and then we'll do it with the questions listed in English. So we're switching to our elbow partner. Again, we're asking questions back and forth. We're using the activity cards for whenever you see an X, you put in that activity that's on your activity card. Remember to try and add multiple details in your answers. Nice job. Okay, let's try it how it's going to be on the assessment. You're going to have one question or one minute, as you may excuse, to ask questions back and forth and answer them. Remember, you want to answer the question, but you also want to include multiple details. Let's look at these. So how do we ask, what do you like to do? Guess que tu am fair. Good. How do we ask, avec, or with whom? Avec qui? And are we just asking, avec qui? No, we've got to ask, avec qui am tu? Regardez la télé. Avec qui am tu? Aller au cinéma. Whatever it happens to be. Okay, what about why? How do we ask why? Pourquoi? Good. Where? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. When? Say comme cuando en espanol. Quand? Quand? It's up in your nose. Good. And then how often? Is souvent. And that one, instead of being at the beginning, is at the end. So like, am to manger souvent. Am to dormir souvent. Versus, quand am to dormir? Où am to manger? Pourquoi aimes-tu jouer aux jeux vidéo? Avec qui aimes-tu danser? Okay, let's give it a go. Decide with your elbow partner who's rolling the dice and asking the first question.
halfway. Awesome job, guys. Kiss those brains. I am so proud of you. If you still have time, go ahead and keep on practicing for the speaking assessment. You can also do this at home to get ready. You don't have to have dice. The big thing is just knowing how to ask all the different questions and how to answer them. I miss you. Kiss your brains for me. You're incredible. Ciao.